we're going to tie a full halter. Once you become proficient at tying halters, you can make a halter with approximately 20 feet of rope. However, we recommend starting with 22 to 25 feet of rope for your first halter. Now we're going to start tying the halter. What you'll do is you'll take your piece of rope and you'll fold it in half. At the center point, you will tie a simple overhand knot. If you need help remembering this knot, you can go back to the previous clips. Then you'll snug that knot up. Then, to the left of your knot, you're going to tie another simple overhand knot. You're going to cross it over and pull it back through. Now you have two simple overhand knots. At this point, you're going to take your tape measure and measure in between the two knots. You'll want these knots to measure 11 inches from the middle of one knot to the middle of the other knot. At this point, take the time to adjust the knots so you have 11 inches between the two. Then tighten them up. Then you're going to take the rope and you're going to fold it. Put your two overhand knots together and now we're going to tie the feet or knot, working only with the right side of the rope. You're going to take it up and over both and make a loop. Now what you're going to do is take the piece of rope that you're working with and cross it up and over. Then hold it down with your finger to anchor it. And take the rope and make another loop. Here, what you're going to do is go over and then under and under. Pull your rope all the way through and straighten out what you've just done. Remember, you're going to go over, under, and under. Now you are done with that piece of the rope on the right-hand side. Moving to the left hand side, anchor your knot, take the left piece of rope and put it over your first loop and then pull it all the way through the loop. Straighten out your loop, then working still with the left piece of rope you're going to take the end and you're going to put it under, under, and under again. And then you're going to pull it over the last loop. So remember, under, 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 and over. Under, 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 and over. Now working with the same piece of rope, you're going to loop it around. You're going to take your end and go over under and under. Again, you're going to go over and under the two sections that cross. 
then you're going to split the bottom two going over the first one and under the second one over under under over and under and finally you're going to go under your last piece you can hold the knot to anchor it while you pull the rope through. Readjust your knot. This is how it will look like. Then you're going to take the end, go up through the center and under the two pieces of rope and pull it to tighten it. Now you do not want to pull it too tight just yet. Then take the top strands of rope and put them together. You're going to take that loop and that loop and fold them together, pulling up on your top strands and down on the bottom loops. You'll gently need to adjust this. Now at this point your loops on the bottom will not be even and that's okay. Continue to pull on the strands to tighten them. As you will notice your two overhand knots might be uneven. What you're going to do is measure from the center of the Theodore knot to the overhand knot. You want this to be approximately 7 inches from the middle of one to the middle of the other. To get the knots to their correct length, you'll push down on one of the pieces of rope to figure out where it's coming from. Then you'll feed the extra rope up from the loop and pull it up on the same one. Then you adjust the knots, measuring them to be 7 inches. Now you're going to adjust your loop knots. What you're going to do is push one of the pieces of rope into the Theodore knot to figure out which loop it goes to. Then you'll adjust the loop knot by pulling the rope back through. You want this to be about two and a half inches long. Then you'll take the other end piece of rope, push it back into the Theodore knot to see which loop it goes to, and then adjust the loop, pulling the excess rope through the feet or not to the end of the rope. Then you're going to pull and tighten the feet or not. This is what it should look like. Remembering that your overhand knots to the feet or not will be approximately seven inches long and the loop knots between two and a half and three inches long.